Hi everyone. Let's take a look at number twelve on page eighty-three. Do the functions y equal to one over x and y equal to x cubed ever have the same slope? If so, where? Step one. If we divide this into two different columns, let's find the general slope for each case. In the first column, we're starting with y equal to one divided by x. Before you find y prime. Always express this in exponent form. If you think about the seven exponent laws, one of them is called the negative exponent law, which means one divided by x becomes x to the power of negative one. When you use the power rule, y prime equals to, again, there's a one at the front. You take the exponent, negative one, and you multiply by the number at the front. So negative one times one, that's going to be negative one. You copy x, and you take the exponent, and you subtract one. So negative one minus one, that's going to give you negative two. Or you can express this with a positive exponent, negative one divided by x squared. And again, this is the general slope of the first case. Now, likewise, if you look at the second column, we're looking at y equal to x to the power of three. This is already an exponent form, so when you find y prime using the power rule, again, there's a one at the front. You're multiplying the exponent to the number at the front. One times three would give you three. You copy x, you subtract one from the exponent. So y prime equals to three x squared. And again, this is the general slope for y equal to x cubed. Now, they're really asking if these functions have the same slope. If they do have the same slope, that means you can make the two general slopes equal, and you can solve for x for the location. So, therefore, negative 1 over x squared equals to 3x squared. Again, if they do have the same slope, you can find x. If you cannot find x, they do not have the same slope. So you can make the right-hand side divided by 1, so it looks like a fraction. Again, you can cross multiply. 1 times negative 1 is going to be negative 1. 3x squared times x squared is going to be 3x to the power of 4. The opposite of multiplying by 3 is to divide by 3. Or you can write x to the 4 on the left-hand side, negative 1 over 3 on the right-hand side. The opposite of taking the power of 4 is to find the fourth root. And again, there are two cases, plus and minus. However, you cannot take the fourth root of a negative number. So this means, therefore, there are no solutions, which means, therefore, they never have the same slope. I hope this makes sense.